Michael Doudna is live for us in Black Canyon City with the details. Michael. Yeah, guys, uh, the fire is burning in what fire officials are describing as rough terrain. That's limiting their options right now. But residents around here are concerned that if more isn't done, well, it may create a problem. It was smoke and it was the wind and it was the dust. Unnerving. Worried faces at this community meeting of people hoping to hear the latest about the 11,000 acre wildfire burning just miles away. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen it this close. We live, even the ashes were in the pool. Like it just came in the pool and I'm like, it's awful. Officials say this fire is burning in steep, rugged terrain, making it hard for firefighters to fight it on the ground and limiting air effectiveness. So for now, they're preparing and letting the fire come to them. We're really exhibiting patience. Um, patience allowing the fire to move to an area where our firefighters can safely engage. But for those like Jennifer, they worry that all of this patience may instead let the fire grow to a point where it's too late. I'm not very confident, I can tell you that. Now, fire officials did tell the crowd that they are in a good position to handle the fire, using helicopter drops in, carving out fire lines, as the community is praying that they're right. I just keep praying, Lord, please don't let this fire burn my house down. <sighs> Can you please put this fire out? We'd appreciate it. Now, this fire team got into the scene here about a few days or so ago, and they say right now the fire is burning more to the north and south compared to the east and west. We're live in Black Canyon City. Michael Doudna, 12 News.